Hello everyone, I'm coming to you. Um, it's Agnes actually, if you did not know. I'm coming from Just That Perfect Peace. That's what somebody told me that I should say. Coming to you with the cans and some Easter inspiration. Um, I would like to show you what you can, how fun it is to use your items from Recycle Bin. As you seen that I already painted my cans a little bit, but I will tell you why later. I just wanted to save some time and it was dinner and all that stuff. So I just want to be ahead of the game. So um, here we go. I am going to show you what I'm doing right now. As you can see is I'm trying to somehow transfer bunny. And I was trying to go for the shortcuts and I printed out from internet. But guess what? My cans are actually smaller than uh, the actual bunny on the left. So I decided to draw it myself and try to copy the guy because I'm not really a good at drawing. So now look what is helping me, a shot glass. <laughs> the shot glass on the bottom is wider and, um, and on the top is a little bit smaller. So look what I'm doing. I'm drawing the circle and then I am halfway through overlapping the circle I just drew. And here we go, I got the body. And then this is going to be a tough portion. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me. I am not any kind of an artist here, and especially now with all your eyeballs staring at me, it's even worse because I see I'm trying to figure out that my that for my ears not to go too high. I'm telling you, I do not know for life how to draw, but I do like to copy in my own piece. So, um, yeah, I actually research how to draw a simple paintings. I think I mentioned that someplace on one of the videos. I'll do it. So here we go. So embarrassing. But I just want to let you know that even though I do not know how to do stuff, I am still not giving up and I am still trying to do things. So here we go. I have, I actually did three of them. I mean, I did not really want to draw in the front of you, but then I decided it's not fair. I do want to show you that I do struggle too, but you know what? I just got to go with it. But um, I am, you know, yes, you do want to have as, as accurate shape of a body for my, our purposes now for this project. But um, at the end of the day, it really it, it, the perfect, you know, the perfect edges really will not matter, but I'll show you why. So when we get there, so I'm sorry, I'm going now hold you hostage, uh, looking at me, um, cutting this out, but I do not want to take any longer to publish, publishing, to publish that video. So guess what? It's faster for you to stare at me doing that than me editing because that would have been much longer so you I, as i'm cutting uh we can chit chat for a bit right i mean i gotta tell you now i really like this idea so please don't complain that i talk a lot but i do i mean i did actually ask you on my page about yes you forgot i forgot to tell you see that was another mistake i've made um I should have actually used two papers and cut two bunnies at the same time for my two cans. But guess what? I wasn't really thinking, and now I gotta go through cutting again. Well, it happens, so don't do this. If you have two cans or three cans, fold your papers, do me a favor together and cut once. <laughs> but I, I just love it. And again, I just do wanna show you that um, yeah, I do make mistakes. I am like everybody else out there, you know, learning. Hopefully, next time I'll be cutting out something. I learn from it. But um, as of right now, well, it's a pain. I'm cutting it twice. But, okay, so now I'm cutting. So I, yeah, I want to ask you the question that I didn't have a chance to ask you earlier um, about the um, signs of spring, as I mentioned to you. Um, on the page earlier today <clears throat> and I did see a lot of comments in a lot of pictures of the areas you're in and I can you know really say that winter this year it's weird places that should have a nice sunshine have a snow and cold temperatures and the places like mine that should have a snow it have rain don't you think it's just weird out there I mean the seasons are completely um, out of work. I don't want to name it the other way. 
<laughs> so see, when we chit chat, I am almost done. You didn't actually bore, bo you were not actually bored. So it's all good, right? Okay, now I would like, and an, an, you know, my, um, my cans, I mean, I wasn't wearing gloves. That's another thing you see. Oh, originally that's the Dollar Tree bunny cut out. And when I said I am going to do the project with you, originally I thought that this one was big enough for me to do it, but obviously it was a little bit too big and I did not want to go from top to the bottom. So for sure, I'll be looking for another can that it's taller. And I think my coffee can will actually be able to accommodate the bunny from Dollar Tree, but either way. <clears throat> so uh, if you do have it and your cans are bigger, yeah, go ahead and use that template. Life will be much easier. And to tell you the truth, I did want to have two different bunnies, but whatever. I'll be still making it because there's going to be a lot of places I can use that. So now my goal is, and of course, in ideal world, you want to have a template. I do not have one. And even if I would have, they would have most likely cost some. So guess what? I'm doing it a Polish way, <laughs> all around way. I am actually folding my tape, the scotch tape, in a little circles and trying to glue as much as I can to my um, can. And the good thing is the, uh, the can is, the paint is slightly uh, wet. So it helps me a little bit. Plus the paper I was using is thin. So um, it goes easy. But you know what? I actually do not, I do not want them to bleed, but I do want to have that foggy edges. And ideally keep the shape of the bunny. I was just hardly drawing and cutting because that would have been a shame if the body is disproportion. But, um, but I do want to have a foggy edges. So I do actually want to have a little bit of... Um, you know, fog at the, but I'll, I'll show you. Hopefully that all comes out. I just wish that I was wearing um, um, gloves for all this. So um, I'm curious if that would have been, you know, if you have any other ideas how you can possibly stencil, um, you know, something like this, like this bunny on the thing, do you do, you do it differently? Because maybe I'm going, you know, very primitively way. But you know what? That's the way they always work for me. And I am going to show you my way. And I'm curious, what is your way? If there is any different one that I can think of. Well, help me, please. Did you just see my hands? They are full of the spray paint. And I do not have anything to remove it with and I've tried to wash my hands with the soap and water obviously it is just one stubborn uh, spray paint and again another lesson I've learned don't forget to wear your gloves but um, do you think the uh, nail polish remover is going to remove my black marks on a hand or I'm going to be staring at it for the next few days and I guess you are going to be staring with me and my hands but whatever well, okay, well, let's hope for the best. So I, see, oh, look at this. Now I want to show you. There are two spray cans, and I am really actually very disappointed because the one on the left with this red top, do you see that kind of the top? Do not buy this if you're not going to use it all in one shot because that can on the left is full of white paint. The one on the right barely has any, but look at the top. It has that hairspray, um, you know, sprayer that does not get itself clogged up the one on the left it's just clogged up it's useless so that's another can so if i can help you with anything else do not get um the can with that red top so when you buy the spray paint make sure it's not that one or just tell me what should i do to preserve my things and i am actually painting right in the house just because i am so worried about those bunnies so I am just only going to do the top coat of it and then um, go outside with the rest of it. But um, I just want to make sure, and it's just that I, I can't see much outside now. It's dark. It's not really dark, but it's still worse, less of a better light than, than in a house. Okay. So now I just simply paint the other. Um, I took them to paint, they are drying right now, so it's time to make a little pom-pom, don't you think so? And I do not know if you follow, all of you are following me long enough, I 
few weeks ago, I showed you how to have fun with a fork, remember? I just wonder if you do remember. If not, then you should just go search in my videos. So one of the ways was to make um, a little pom-poms. And uh, as you saw, as you're seeing, we're seeing right now, I just simply wrap a few times and try to make it as bulky as I can possibly make um, for the pom-pom uh, to be really full. And look at me trying to poke through the hole. So now when you actually wrap, all what you should do is just simply um, put in the middle, um, in between the fork teeth, right in the middle, and then <coughs> do the same at the end and tie it really, really well um, to make sure it's all not falling together. You know, not falling apart, staying together. Sorry. <laughs> I am so rushing out. So now, um, all obviously with like everything else you just need to cut the edges and um you're done and now look at me i actually cut it through i am so upset and here we go another lesson that i am going to learn here we go fall apart <laughs> sorry i have to do it again well but that's okay you're going to learn on my mistake hopefully I forgot um, to pay attention uh, on the yarn that I was tying it all together. <clears throat> it's supposed to, usually I do like to leave much longer piece and um, try to hold it in my hands as I am cutting the strings through. And I obviously didn't do it. It's all me rushing to you know, deliver that video to you as fast as I can so you don't go to bed. <laughs> and of course, now I'm struggling with um, with that piece of the yarn and I can't even poke. The, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, don't you have days like me sometimes that everything you touch, it just goes crazy. But you know what? I finally did it. So now we're going to tie it again and please pray for me that this is going to work this time and I am going to remember to hold the longer string and then when I am cutting, you know, the, uh, the sides, I am going to hold that string in my hands. Have you ever made those pom-poms on your fork? Or you just don't bother? Obviously. You could go ahead and use the pom-poms made in a store, bought in a store, buy in a store, whatever <laughs> whatever the correct way is to say. But again, you know me, I go the wrong way. You know, you could have buy a million accessories and, and that's another thing is that the craft sometimes can cost a lot. For the simple fact is that those mini pom-poms you buy in a store, yes, they maybe sometimes you are lucky to get it for a dollar, but they usually cost more. And then guess what? You only need two and you got like 30 and then you lose the 28 of them. So you know what? Look at this. It does not take much. I have a scrap of yarn. It takes literally, what, a minute to make the tiny pom pom. And it's such a, um, you know, this just rewarding process that you actually did something really good. Um, don't you think so? <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, this is what always happens. And I always see the crafters are complaining, oh, this is so expensive. You know, craft is crafting and redoing things is so expensive. It really is not. If you're going to have a plan, you can really do a lot of things yourself instead of buying them because <clears throat> we all have scraps at home. But um, the pom-pom actually came out a little bit too big for me. My fork was too big or my yarn was too big. I don't even want to get to the bottom of it. So I do want to shave as much as I can because my can, well, I'm hoping that this one is going to be a good size. So, well, I hope so. See, I just tried to see if I can cut the corners and uh, not to make a second pom-pom because... Again, see me trying to figure out if I can maybe recycle the cut up pieces. I could have, but um, yeah, I actually should have. Well, I'm going to recycle and show it to you. Yeah, look at me now, I'm really upset because I actually could have used those pieces that fall apart and um, recycle them to make a different kind of tail. I mean, the, the bunny doesn't have to have those bushy tails, right? 
The same thing as I've done with my uh, bunny that I made out of embroidery hoop. One I made with the pom pom and the other one I made with the fur. Oh man, why did I not think about it before? So now I am getting smarter. Did you see that? I actually poke first. I mean, I um, not poke. I just actually thread the yarn first before I wrap my fork. Do you see how I learn? And this is what happens um, when you craft. When, I mean, obviously, I've made million pom-poms, but you don't remember. You do know the idea, but you do not remember those little tricks. So now look at me. I first put that little piece of the yarn and then I wrap it and now it's easier. See? That's how it goes. <laughs> you just have to refresh your skills and to tell you the truth, you know, in time when you get older, it's actually good to think, good to explore and good to remember because it's actually good for your brain to keep your mind occupied and to keep, you know, sort of remembering things that out of whatever that you used to do. Enough of that. <laughs> My God, I am really talking today. It's just because I had a very quiet day and a very um, rewarding day at the walk, on my walk today. Uh, my daughter was with her friends and um, I was just simply taking my time and enjoying looking actually really, um, you know, really everywhere for the signs of springs but except my hydrangea right by my front door and tiny leaves I didn't see any other signs <clears throat> so here we go they almost the same size and I hope that my can dried and let's oh well it's not really 100% dry but I do not have time to wait for it so um, I'm just going to quickly show you the product and please pray that this is not bleeding through oh it's not bad i actually like this and this is what i was trying to achieve i tried to achieve that um you know foggy sides well the bottom on this one is a little bit bad oh my god that's okay we'll correct this slightly <clears throat> but i did want to have that nice it's not bad to tell you the truth it's not bad rushing this project like i did right now it is really not bad yeah, but I am going to still get the paint and uh, correct little areas here and there <clears throat> to do it. But, I mean, you don't have to really, because it does actually look good. I just want to get some rounding, especially on this guy on the bottom and a little bit on his ears. Because that on the bottom really bothers me. But that's okay. We'll get it done. Of course, my brush is not good, but either way. I'll just go with whatever I can possibly do. See, it's a little bit better. Well, it is a little bit on the bulkier side, but you know what? I'll just go with it. <clears throat> it if I would have been rushing, you know, I would have most likely achieved what I wanted, but um, it's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, this is me judging right now as I paint. See, if I would have been, you know, not rushing, I would have taken my time, switched my things, but um, that's fine. It's a little bit better, right? It rounded off a bit. Now we got to get the other one, get the little effect there. I actually do like the way that his ears look. <clears throat> they have that little, um, you know, fog to it, and they just look like they were, like, blown by the dust right on my can. I do like this. Um, ideally, I would like to decorate them later with um, with the um, a little bit of the buffalo check. But again, those things we can do later or you can do later. And I really do not want to do them now because my can is still not um, dry. So I just do not want to smear anything. And now that new coat of uh, black paint, I just do not want <clears throat> to risk it. But my pom-poms obviously are too big. So I need to even um, shave them a bit more just to, you know, I do want them bigger, obviously, to make them really cute, but uh, they were awfully too big. They were almost as big as the bottom portion of my bunny. And to tell you the truth, this whole project actually took longer to dry, semi-dry, because it's again, not dry 100%. 
than uh, than actually um, making it. It's it's a really quick project that you can literally spray paint your can in the morning or come back two three hours later. But I had only uh, you know twenty half an hour to do it all, so I was rushing left and right to have that done for you in time before you go to bed. Well, look at me working so hard. And I think my hot glue is already, yeah, I think it's good now. My, we can cut now those longer pieces. They are no more safety blankets here. And we are all good now. I think my hot glue is already, um, look at me still trimming it away. <laughs> I gotta tell you, when you actually do it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's been done forever. But um, that's it. I'm going. I go for it now. Here we go. My bunny tail is attached. Now we go to another one. It does look cute. Not because I've done it, but it just actually it. I love that idea. That's why I was telling you a couple of weeks ago. Make sure to get those pom pom makers. Um, and it, because we will need the bigger pom poms, and they are sometimes not coming that pretty. So see here now, I'm trying to get a little bit of a twine, and I am thinking for now maybe dress it up. Well, yes, but that was not my intention. I, um, originally, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you all what I want to do later, and I will for sure do it by tomorrow when the can is dry to show you what I wanted to do with them. But I'll post it maybe later on today or in the comments tomorrow, what I really wanted to do with, as a decoration on those. But, um, but it was a buffalo check for sure, I can tell you that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad with the, with the twine. But that was not, I mean, this would be actually not a bad idea if you're going for, uh, more of a rustic look but um but then the one I want to show you it's a little bit more of a modern farmhouse look the other one that I will make when the cans are dry um but, but it's again both ways are good but at the end of the day um I would say you know don't make anything permanent decoration wise if you choose to make those cans simply because um whatever plants you're going to get oh so here we go oh but it'll look good what do you think? So if you really enjoyed the project and the whole idea of making, you know, project Easter decoration from recycle, please sprinkle my project. And I am really happy that you lasted with me through all this process and waited for me. And I will talk to you tomorrow and come with a new project. Thanks for watching. Bye.